In today's cartoon story joke, we bring you the infamous Baron von Munchausen. Baron Munchausen is a fascinating figure, blurring the lines between reality and outrageous fiction. Here's the story. First, there was the true soldier with a flair for the dramatic. Yes, here was a real Baron, Hieronymus Karl Friedrich von Munchausen, a German nobleman who served in the Russian military during the 18th century. He was known for being a bit of a braggart, telling tall tales about his adventures. These stories likely stemmed from his actual experiences, but were embellished for dramatic effect. However, the Baron Munchausen we know today is primarily a fictional character. A writer named Rudolf Erich Raspe took the real Baron's tales and spun them into a wild and wacky collection of stories titled Baron Munchausen's narrative of his marvelous travels and campaigns in Russia, published in 1785. These stories were wildly popular and introduced the world to the outrageous exploits of the fictional Baron Munchausen. Now, the adventures of the Baron is where logic goes on vacation. The fictional Baron is a notorious exaggerator. His adventures involve him riding cannonballs, pulling himself out of a swamp by his own hair, and even traveling to the moon, where his horse got stuck. These stories are filled with absurdity and humor, with the Baron always emerging victorious, no matter how impossible the situation. The character of Baron Munchausen has become synonymous with tall tales and outlandish stories. He's inspired countless books, movies, and even a term, Munchausen Syndrome, a psychological condition where people fabricate stories about themselves. So, is Baron Munchausen real? A bit of both. The real Baron provided the seed, but the fictional Baron, with his incredible feats and wild imagination, is the one who truly captured the world's attention. Let's buckle down in our own story as this magnificent Superman of the 18th century. Ah, the bustling city of London, where fog hung heavy and social media buzzed like a hive of overstimulated bumblebees. Now, Baron Munchausen, a man never one to shy away from an adventure, found himself particularly intrigued by this phenomenon. Social media, you say? boomed the Baron, his voice echoing in the opulent drawing room. A place where one can broadcast their every thought and pastry to the entire world? Preposterous. Lady Fitzwilliam, a society matron with a fondness for gossip columns, adjusted her monocle. Indeed, Baron, it's quite the rage. People curate their lives, share their opinions, and chase those elusive likes. Intrigued, the Baron declared, then I, Baron Munchausen, shall embark on a most daring expedition. I shall infiltrate this social media and conquer it with the sheer brilliance of my tales. The next morning, with the help of a particularly tech-savvy footman, it seems even the most outlandish adventures required some modern assistance, the Baron established his online presence. Now, choosing a profile picture was paramount. A fierce duel with a yeti? Too common. Riding a hot air balloon powered by sneezing penguins? Slightly unrefined. Finally, a picture of the Baron, astride a cannonball mid-flight, a triumphant grin on his face, was deemed perfect. The Baron, ever the showman, crafted his first post. Greetings, fellow netizens, it began. I, Baron Munchausen, have arrived in the digital realm prepared to be astonished by tales of my extraordinary exploits. He then proceeded to narrate his daring escape from a kraken in the Arctic, using a narwhal's horn as a toothpick. The internet, a place where the bizarre thrives, erupted. The Baron's post went viral faster than a runaway carriage. People were captivated. Was he a madman? A genius? A historical figure with a time machine? The comments section was a battlefield of speculation. Emboldened by his newfound fame, the Baron continued his digital rampage. He recounted his adventures in the lost city of Atlantis, reached by submarine powered by pickled onions, his duel with a fire-breathing dragon defeated with a bucket of tea, and his escape from a tribe of head-hunting cannibals 
who were so impressed by his stories, they let him go. However, the Baron, a man accustomed to more tangible audiences, missed a crucial detail. The internet never forgets. One particularly eagle-eyed netizen noticed a glaring inconsistency. The Baron, in his tale of escaping the cannibals, mentioned wearing a cravat made from the finest Amazonian spider silk. However, in a previous post, detailing his encounter with a tribe of hat-wearing penguins, the Baron clearly sported a polka-dotted cravat. The internet, with the swiftness of a hungry piranha, pounced. The Baron was exposed as a fraud, a master fabricator, a purveyor of tall tales. His followers, feeling duped, unfollowed him faster than a cockroach flees the light. The Baron's once thriving social media presence became a desolate wasteland, tumbleweeds of forgotten comments rolling through the digital desert. The Baron, crestfallen, sat at his computer, staring at the screen. Lady Fitzwilliam patted his shoulder sympathetically. There, there, Baron. Social media is a fickle beast. Perhaps stick to the traditional drawing room for your tales. The Baron, a glint back in his eye, chuckled. Fear not, dear lady. I may have lost the battle, but the war is far from over. After all, who knows? Perhaps one day I shall conquer this social media with the most outrageous story of all. And so the Baron, forever undeterred, retreated to plan his next escapade. One thing was certain, the internet wouldn't forget him anytime soon. After all, a good tall tale, even exposed, always leaves a mark. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>